Welcome back to Terraria, Colbaria. And ever since I explored the desert out to the left and found that underground area of kind of like a teleporter maze, it seemed like almost, I've been really curious. There was one teleporter, I didn't explore it a whole lot, but there was one teleporter that didn't seem to be hooked up. And so now that I have rescued the mechanic from the dungeon and have my hands on some red wire, I would really like to go check that area out and see if I can hook up that teleporter and see if it's going to take me somewhere amazing. And so I'm going to head over that way to the left. And regardless of whether that particular teleporter takes me somewhere amazing, we're going to explore that whole kind of sand, desert, underground area. A meteorite has landed. We haven't had another meteorite in the world for a while. I think I only ever broke those first three shadow orbs, possibly. There's still... Let's see, the Vile Thorn would be decent loot that I could get from that. And possibly the Rain Cloud from the Crimson, although at this point I'm kind of past that in terms of gear. And when we get into hard mode, I'll obviously get the Angry Rain Cloud then. And so, yeah, I don't know that there's actually too much stuff that I'm missing out on in terms of gear that one gets from those orbs. Okay, so we've reached the ruins of the desert, which lead underground to this crazy teleporter system. And from what I recall, it was the one that was kind of over here to the left. That didn't seem to hook up to anything, and so we will check out if it is merely disconnected and we can reconnect it with some red wire. Right over here, as I recall. All right, so this one, yeah, it doesn't do anything. And if I get the wrench, for example, I see the switch isn't hooked up to it. Interesting. And so... If I just do this to activate it, now could I go wherever it's going to go? Uh, do I need to bring this one more over, possibly? Maybe? Let's try doing that. Is it because they're different colored wire? I didn't realize this is green wire. Does this have to be connected all the way to that? Hmm. All right, that's definitely overlapping now. I'm not sure if you have to use like a certain color wire to make this all work. And I don't have the green wrench and I've also just kind of broken this even a bit more. All right, so that's not super cool. <laughs> I didn't think about the fact there might be multiple colors of wire and I don't know exactly how that works. Uh, so that's something I will look into off camera. In the meantime, there's still many other branches of this place that we have not explored. And so that is a bunch of gold. I like that. And apparently we've gone far enough underground that we're now like down in a cavern layer or something. And so we'll continue to explore this area. More gold bars, I believe. Yes, I will take those. Very nice, very nice. And more gold. Alright, lots of extra money in this map, and I like that. <laughs> um, Alright, let's try circling around to this one and see where it takes us. Okay, this is somewhere that I've been before. That was somewhere further on the right? Yes. Okay, so some of these are just going to lead to others of them. But we'll continue to circle around. And is that another gold bar? I believe it is. Thank you. Here's more gold. Oh man. <laughs> so much gold. So profitable. I hope I don't die down here somehow. So far there haven't been... I guess any enemies in here. I guess the sandstone background uh, is kind of a player placed background where enemies can't spawn against it. So if we do eventually, okay, and this circled around, if we do eventually end up in a room that can spawn mobs, I have to be careful because it could be the case that it's going to start spawning a lot. I should really start putting some torches around just to help me remember where I've been. All right, let's try this one. Oh, this is taking us somewhere else, deeper down. Okay, interesting, interesting. Well, let's continue. 
and hope that one of these doesn't like take me down into the lava or something crazy like that. I'm not trying to pay any attention right now to kind of like the order of these things to try to, you know, create a map in my head to know how to get from here to there. When I originally found this place, I was thinking it might be like a warp zone that took you like to different places around the map since it's a large map. It doesn't appear that it's going to be that, which is kind of a shame because that would have been cool. But let's see where it does take us. Okay, this one is not seeming to go anywhere. And yeah, once again, it seems like this one... No, the switch is hooked up to this one. Alright, and so... I wonder if that's the one that this was disconnected from? The other one that we just took a look at? I don't know. This isn't turning out to be quite what I... Whoa! <laughs> quite what I expected. Um, yes, please. Oh, wow, sandstorm in a bottle, two of them. So you can combine, and two flying carpets, wow. <laughs> that is really generous. Um, neat. All right, could recraft and reforge some of those things. Some more gold coins, more gold coins. Um, some other kind of fancy stuff that I don't think I really need. Um, but that's super cool. All right, I'll go ahead and throw one of these over here and one of these over here just to free up some inventory slots. Can I get back? Yes, they do just connect to one another. All right, let me continue exploring this place and see what else I can find. Okay, well, based on the layout of the map, I think possibly I've gone through all of this. My main concerns is that there were two teleporters that didn't work. Uh, I'm going to try to locate those two teleporters and see if I can ascertain whether they are, in fact, connected. All right, it turns out that you do need light in order to see the actual wire connections, and they are kind of going everywhere through here, and so I can't really tell. I'm going to imagine that the two teleporters uh, were, in fact, connected to one another, the two that didn't work. And so I've gotten all the treasure out of here, which was really good. I mean, a platinum and a gold coin uh, is pretty friggin' amazing. Uh, not to mention some of these, the sandstorm in the bottle and the flying carpet. So that's pretty cool, and I could... There is sand right here on the floor, rather than sandstone. That makes me wonder. <laughs> it's dangerous to make me wonder. Let me check this out really quick. Okay, the sand on the floor caused me to dig down, but I didn't actually find anything there. And so perhaps that was just there to throw me off. <laughs> I don't know. In any case, we got some good loot out of here. I could harvest the transporters. Uh, and hook them up pre-hard mode to then be able to kind of like teleport all the way around my map. Uh, and so I'll at least consider that. Or I could use them for an arena. I've started building an arena off camera uh, for different events that I'm hoping if we get another goblin invasion I can test out at some point. While I'm here, there are a couple other things I would like to do. I would like to harvest a bunch of sand. Um, and so I think I'll do that from some of the dunes on the right. And then I want to go by the ocean uh, for reasons that I cannot remember right now, but we'll go back by the ocean and hope that I remember. And I think for harvesting sand, I'm curious to know how well dynamite harvests sand. And so I'm just curious, if I dig down into a bit of sand over here, and then take a stick of dynamite and go, fire in the hole! Interesting. That doesn't work exactly how I thought it was going to. It's actually kind of messy. Um, let's try another one of those. How many did I get? 130 sand blocks? Some of it was from the temple, though. Did I throw more than one? I threw more than one. Oops. Alright, well. We just exploded a big thing. Eh, that was pretty good. 300 and something sand? 464? That actually, that actually worked somewhat reasonably well. Um, I want to have the sand in case I decide to make ale into Molotov cocktails, and I believe you need sand for glass for that. So that was one of the reasons that I wanted that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a fair amount of cactus, uh, but while I'm here, that's another potion ingredient uh, that isn't as easily accessible to me. So I'm gonna grab some more cactus, then we're gonna go by the ocean. Oh, I remember why I wanted to go to the ocean. I wanna go to both oceans, because we explored the ocean on the left already, and I managed to find the 
shark, uh, the diving helmet. And I would also like to get a flipper so I can combine it into diving gear and then possibly kill some of the jellyfishes to get the light up diving gear or whatever. And so I'm going to spend a little bit of time fighting over here. And eventually I might set up an arena over in the ocean area as well, because that could be very useful. Alright, I got over to this ocean and realized that I neglected to bring my piggy bank, which means I didn't have access to my water candles and other things that could cause more enemies to spawn so that we could actually do some useful farming over here. So I think instead we will go home and then head over to the other ocean and try to get all of our ocean bases covered. So I will see you guys back over on the right-hand side of the map. While I'm over here, I'll quickly show off the little arena area for events that I was making. It's basically got a lot of big lava pools, a place where I can just kind of hover above it. Next time we have a goblin invasion, we'll kind of test that out to see how well it just kind of wears down enemies. And at this point, I've managed to find, I think, a couple heart statues. I can't remember if I have a star statue as well. And so we could eventually hook that up for things like pirate invasions and different things in the future, perhaps. Oh, the blood moon is rising. Just as I was headed over to the other ocean. Well, I hadn't gotten very far. Uh, anytime there's a blood moon, I always have to come back and harvest death weed. And so, I see one down here. Yeah, let me spend a little bit of time on the death weed farm. And I'll get back to you all. I greatly improved the death weed in terms of having more death weed seed planted in my main farm. And now that I'm coming over here to the right hand side ocean, I'll also hopefully find a little bit more death weed naturally growing over here on the side of this crimson mountain. And so that'll help things out even more. But we're almost over to the ocean uh, that I had not yet previously really explored. Is that death weed? No. Hoping to find some more death weed. Almost over to this ocean, and I'm hoping that I'm going to find a flipper in there, since I found the scuba gear on the other side. My guess is that I'd find a flipper and possibly even like a jellyfish necklace uh, on this side, so that I can go and combine those things. But only time will tell. But as I get down into the ocean over here, it would definitely be helpful for me to put on the diving helmet. And so let's throw that on so that I have plenty of breathing time underwater and see what we can manage to find. Oh, that is not the ocean yet. Haha! -ha. <laughs> right, I forgot about this crazy bungalow that was over here. That's awesome. I love this place every time I see it. Maybe I should just make that my main house. <laughs> and I need to pick up coral! That was the other thing I wanted to get from the other ocean. Right, because coral is an ingredient in various potions, as I recall. And so I will want to have some of it. Right, right, right. All right, the ocean gets really deep over here. Ooh, hey, look at this. There's uh, something here. Hello, hello. Uh, hold the phone. What do we have here? There's like an, oh boy, there was a trap or something. Um, I'm going to drown if I'm not careful. I hear something making ticky, ticky, tick noises. All right, what's down here? All right, I do not see a chest that I was expecting to find. I do see some kind of ruins or dungeon that I wasn't expecting to find. And I desperately need to get some air uh, up in here soon. Can I break whatever blocks these are? Tin plating, yes, okay. Uh, let's, oh, something's trying to kill me. <laughs> let's get up here and get a breath of fresh air. Wow! <laughs> I love this map. I love never knowing what to expect. All right, let's try going inside here. Um, I still don't know what's making that ticka ticka noise, and it really scares me. <laughs> Alright, and it's also a blood moon on top of everything, so we've got even more things spawning, probably. Alright, well, I'm glad I brought the Scooby gear along. Oh, there's a piranha or something. I think the blood moon might have just ended, I'm not sure. Um... All right, my imp is not being able to help me because he doesn't really fight well underwater. Let's make another breathing hole up here. 
would also be a good place to stick a little bit of light. And what is that crazy sound? All I can think of is like one second timers hooked up to some kind of switch mechanism that goes ticka ticka ticka. I don't know. Oh boy, all right, more piranhas, more piranhas. How am I doing in life? Life is doing okay. We've got good armor. Oh, here's, is that a breathing hole? It is not. Uh, it's about to be. Robot hat, that is one of the rare drops that you can get from piranhas and they're everywhere here. Um, in fact, oh, is it spawning piranhas? I think it's spawning piranhas. I think it's on a loop spawning piranhas. Okay, I understand now. 